In this lesson, we are going to find the null space of the following system. So the null space of an n by n matrix is just the collection of all solutions or the set to the homogeneous equation of ax equals to zero. Okay. So the way you can think about this is that let's say you have, okay, let's say this is the collection of your vectors in Rn. So this will be a vector space. And over here we have the right another vector space. Let's call this Rn. Okay. So we're, since we're dealing with an n by n matrix, then we have Rn mapping to Rm. Okay. Okay. So so the null space is basically the it's the collection. Okay, it's the set of vectors that get maps that gets mapped to the zero vector in Rm. Okay. All right. So the way we're going to do this, okay, is we're going to go ahead and just we have the we have the equations. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and solve for the zero, uh, solve for the uh, solution to this uh, homogeneous system, uh, homo homogeneous equation. Okay. So. Let's go ahead and write this as a matrix. So this will be 1, negative 3, negative 2, negative 5, 9, and 1. And then I'm going to go ahead and augment the zero vector onto there. Okay, so let's first uh, we'll work with the uh, this pivot number 1. So I'm going to take and multiply the first row by 5 and then add it to the second row. Okay, so we're going to have 1, minus 3, negative 2, 0, 0. So the second row will give us 0, negative 6, and negative 9. Okay, so all I did is, all, all I did is take the, uh, multiply the first row by, by 5 and add it to the second row. Okay, so that's using the row operation. Okay, so now we have so we have uh, two basic variables and one free variable here. Okay, all right. So x three. Okay, x three is a free variable. Okay, and then x one, x two is basic variables. We can tell because uh, we have we have a pivot here and another pivot here. Okay, so we're going to get uh, we want to get x one and x two in terms of the free variable. Okay. All right. So looking at the second row. Okay. So we're going to have minus six. times x2 minus 9 times x3 equals to 0 okay and then uh, from there okay we can go ahead and um, solve for x2 so remember x3 is a free variable so let's go ahead and <clears throat> let's call this t where t is a real number okay Okay, so we have minus uh, 6x2 minus 9t, so substituting in t for x3. Okay, so this is going to give us, uh, for x2, this is going to give us minus 3 halves t. Okay, so just moving over the 9t and then and then we can divide by 6, and that will give us minus 3 halves. Okay, so now we need to solve for x1. So looking at the first row, so we have x1 minus 3x2 
minus 2x3 equals to 0. So we have x1 minus 3x2. x2 was minus 3 halves t. And then x3 was t. So that was a free verb. So minus 2 times t. Okay. So now solving for this. Okay, we're going to have x1 plus 9 halves t minus 2t equals to 0. And so this will give us x1 will be equal to moving everything over. We're going to get minus 5 halves t. Okay. All right, so we have x3 is equal to t. Okay. X2 is minus 3 halves t, and x1 is minus 5 halves t. Okay, so then let's go ahead and write out our solution. So, so the vector, the solution vector x, which is x1, x2, and x3. Okay, let me move this down a little bit. Okay, so that's going to give us... So x1 was... Minus 5 halves t, x2 was minus 3 halves t, and then x3 was minus, uh, was actually t. Okay, so x1 was minus 5 halves t, x2 was minus 3 halves t, and then x3 is t. Okay, so this, okay, this is the uh, null space of A. Okay. That is the null space of A. So that means every vector in this form, when multiplied by A, is going to get mapped to the zero vector. Okay. All right. And remember, the null space here, the null space is the subspace of our, in this case, our, our n. Okay. Which in this case is going to is three. We have three columns. So this is a subspace of R3, okay? All right. And just a note, okay? Oops. Okay. No, when, when T is equal to zero, okay? we get the zero vector, right? Okay. Okay. All right, so which makes sense because um, the zero vector should be, it, it's, it has to be in the, it has to be in the null space, okay? Because it is a subspace of, of R3, okay?